Hello everyone, it's Neil the Accountant. In this video we're going to discuss about creating custom tick marks. Um, this is useful for those who are auditors out there. So what's on the screen right now is the default tick marks for PPC eTools. If you use this uh, software you'll notice that these are the standard tick marks. They're all in red and um, they're all defined. But let's say you want a custom tick mark. Let's say you want them green. Say you took your firm's policy to go green seriously or for whatever reason. So we want green tick marks. So you could actually do that in Excel or in Word. It's pretty similar. So I'll show you how to do it. So first you need to insert a text box. You go to insert shapes in older versions of uh, Excel, you can find this menu in uh, Insert and Shapes. It's just Excel 2013 has its way. Okay, so you type TB, make it green, make it bold, make it, make it bigger. Now, up to this point, you're not done. As you notice, if you put it on top of the number, it's going to cover the number. Then, if you move the column, it's going to move the column. So, all you need to do here is set some properties. So, right click, format shape, and we'll say go to fill, no fill, line, no line, and properties don't move or size with cells. That should take care of it. So, now you can see you can move this on top of the number, it's not going to cover anything except for the font, of course and if you move the column it's not going to move the column so let's do the second tick mark on the second tick mark you actually have a symbol and a drawing line so now first we go to um, insert shapes text box we draw the text box again but now instead of typing you insert a symbol I'm just going to use the same symbol close. This is a tiny symbol so I need to make it bigger. Say 15. Of course change it green. Same drill. Right click. Format shape. No fill. No line. Go to properties. Don't move or size with cells. Okay. And then for the line you need to draw it again. Insert shapes line. Just gonna draw a line right across it. Ah, you can make it smaller if you want to. Um, let's make the line heavier. Move it a bit with the arrow key, and make it the same color. Now, to make this thing move, the rest of the um, tick mark you gotta group them so when you copy paste them they always copy together so right click select both right click group group and that's it you're done you got two tick marks here now we could add this in a menu but that requires a VBA so right now let's let's keep it simple what you could do is um you could copy the tick marks and paste them anywhere. You can paste them in a worksheet where you save all your tick marks and every time you work on another worksheet you just paste them there. So it's like having a uh, you know a depository for uh, tick marks. And that's it. Hope you learned something from the video. Thanks.